Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to solve the permutation of a given string. I'm just going to create a function called permutation and that's going to accept two arguments or two parameters. That's going to be my original string and I'm going to return the result here. And of course, we are going to use the recursive approach here. But we have to be very cautious when, whenever we are going to use the recursive, of course, we have to say when the program should be terminated. So first, we'll just call this function here, permutation, and I'm going to pass my original, the str variable. And also, I'm just going to give a empty character. So the first, by default, the character is going to be empty. So here, we can write a condition. If the str.length, it's going to be equal to zero. If the length of the string is zero, then I can simply log the result. And this is like my the stopping point where I have I want to terminate my recursive. Now, of course, I have to use the loop so that I can get each and every element from the string. So let i equal to zero. We'll start from the zero and we'll just check or run the loop until the length of the string. So str dot length. And then of course we have to increment by one. So i plus plus. And within this, we are going to use the substring. So here I can say like str dot substring. Substring is a overloaded function where we can pass two arguments. There is the starting point and the ending point. Or else we can just pass the starting point by default it will take to the last point. So here we'll give the zero and then I'm going to specify the i value here. So i is basically all for the first run, it's going to be zero. So zero means zero, zero comma zero means of course there will not be any value. So we have to calculate the rest of the characters. So I'm just going to use the str dot substring and then I'm going to say i plus one. So that means the first portion is going to be zero and the second portion is going to be from the length i mean from the first to the last of the character of the given string now we'll just store this in a variable called rest so that means the rest of the characters from this guy so if i try to just console log this you will be able to understand what is this rest is going to come we'll debug and see it in a while now of course i have to use the permutation so i'm just going to call the recursive function that is permutation and here we will pass the rest as in parameter now so in the initial we are passing the entire string with the empty character and then here we have to pass the rest of the character so for example here if we call say like zero um comma zero that means empty value and then here we are saying that i plus one so this one argument and here we are passing two arguments so i plus one means of course zero plus one that is from the first to the last so you will get this et alone not the l but of course, I want to send the L as well, right? So here we'll just pass like result, then followed by the str of i element. So whatever the i element it's going to be, we are going to pass that here, right? So str of i means it's going to be zero. So zero in the sense L. So first combination is going to be thus let, and in second time it's going to be like all the other characters. So let's try to print this, and here we'll say like low note and permutation dot js. Now, of course, we are able to see that we are able to get this output as we expected, let, lte, elt, and all other stuff, right? The solution is very easy, but on, internally, we have to understand how this permutation, or I mean, the how does this recursion is going to work. So I'm just going to set a debug point in few of the places. Okay, and just simply click on F5 if you are using the Visual Studio code. And here it will ask you Chrome or something. So just click on this Node.js and that's it. Now here we can see this is the debug console. I'm just going to uh, disable this one. Okay. Now if I click on this resume of the continue button, you can see it's going to first. So first the string length is three. Of course, you can see that the length of the string is three. So it's not going to go inside the if condition. Rather, it will go to the loop. So here we can see that the just trying to get the str of substring of zero. So that is going to be my if I try to add that in the watch and um, okay, let's just continue and here you can see that the rest is basically ET so we are able to get the ET that is this guys and here we can see that str of i that is going to be my um, i is basically zero from str we are trying to take that means l so l plus right so we will pass this second argument as here right now if I click on this resume continue again and here you can see that the length is now 2. So from the 3 it's now 2. Now of course it's not going to go inside the if condition it is going to go inside the for loop right. So let's click yes. 
Now, what is actually happening over here? We call this permutation first time for the first loop. So it's going to actually call for the until the character until the length is going to be zero. So if I click on this, now the length is one. So we'll just run this again. And now you can see that the rest we are getting this empty. So now this is going to be the length is going to be zero here. So if the length is zero, means of course we can see the result that is going to be this length. So what are the substring substring we have got? It has been appended to this result variable. Now I can just click on this. Now if you remember, we are actually running this permutation, this uh, internal function or the recursive function within this loop, right? Now, if you see the i value, this is going to be 1 and the length is going to be 2, right? So until this condition is going to be satisfied, of course, it is going to run again and again. That is how the uh, loop is going to execute. And within the loop, we are calling this function. That means again, it is going to call internally the same function itself. So that is how recursive works. Okay. It might look a little difficult on the first time, but definitely if you just try and if you try to debug like this, probably you will get the solution better. Okay. So I'm just going to stop this now. Okay, so let's quickly recap. So we have a function called permutation, which is going to accept two arguments. One is the string and another one is the result. Okay. And we have to check if the length of the string is going to be zero, then we are printing the result. So of course, in the result, we are trying to append all the values. And here we can see that we are able to get the zeroth portion to the eighth portion. So i is basically zero, one, two, three based on the loop. And then we are trying to append the rest of the characters. So that is why we have this value and we are passing this as the another string. So calling a function inside a function again. So that's it for my side. The answer is very easy, very simple, but the only the thing you have to learn about the recursive will take some other, another program, maybe just to understand the recursive in, in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.